to the <sighs> let's try this again did not make you laugh did not make you smile hi friends it's Rory and today is another video so uh, this is a wrap-up video the next couple of videos I have are gonna be wrap-up videos kind of like talking about the end of 2019 and kind of like the beginning of 2020 um, I am one of those people that don't want to talk about the end of a year until it's actually over because um, if you follow me on Twitter you know that I didn't read my last book until 10 minutes before 2020 started so if I'd filmed these videos beforehand I would have missed those th types of things anyways but uh, these next couple of videos are gonna be those wrap-up videos and then we're gonna go on with the rest of this month so this is my overall 2019 and my 2020 goals video kind of combined in one. I have a lot of information on books I read in 2019 that I'm going to go over and kind of like talk about my goals for 2020. Along with that, uh, after this, there's going to be a couple of videos. I'm going to do my favorite books of 2019 and my least favorite books of 2019. And then I think I'm going to be doing a review for another book that I read in December. And those are kind of going to be my wrap up of the year video. And those are going to be filmed sometime this week. So let's go ahead and get started. As always, I have my handy dandy notebook with my notes. 2019 in review. Um, overall, I read 57 books this year with a goal of 52. So I did pass my goal. Um, the shortest book that I read was The Tea Dragon Society by Katie O'Neill. It's about 60 pages long. It's a little kind of like graphic comic that I got in Owl Crate. It was pretty cute. Um, and the longest book that I read was Queen of Air and Darkness by Cassandra Clare. Uh, there's a couple other um, kind of shadow hunter books that are on this list. I do want to say that the majority of the books that I read this year did come from the shadow hunter series. I read every single book with the exception of the infernal devices which have been a favorite of mine for about two years. Um, but I did read the entire original series along with all of the books with the short stories in them and I read the secondary series, The Dark Artifacts, that's its name. I also read The Dark Artifacts series and uh, the newest book in, is it Red Scroll of Magic series? Yeah, I would also read that one. So a lot of these are um, kind of Shadowhunter books, but not all of them. Okay, so overall my average rating was about a 3, 3.5, which makes sense. Most, like I said, I did read the entire Shadowhunter series. Most of those got three stars, so that kind of like maybe skewed my reading more towards the average. Um, so the first book that I read in the year was A Map of Days, which is the fourth Miss Peregrine book, um, and that's by Ransom Riggs. And the last book that I read in the year was To Call Down the Hawk by Maggie Seafodder, which is the first book in the Dreamer Trilogy, which is a secondary series to The Raven Cycle. Uh, I also reread two books this year. I reread uh, the first Spider Gwen comic, uh, and I reread Howl's Moving Castle. Actually, technically, if I count my um, my throwback review reads, I also reread those, so I could include the Magic Treehouse books I read uh, and Avalon High on the rereads as well. Now for a couple of faves and least faves of my 2019 reading. Uh, my favorite couple was Alex and Henry from Red, White, and Royal Blue. They make my heart go boom, boom, and I'm like, love them um my least favorite couple was will and ellie from avalon high which is very different from in high school um 
My favorite cover is Spin the Dawn because specifically I have the Owl Crate copy. Um, you might be able to, no, probably not in my current setup. It's up there though. Um, and my favorite character over the year was Shepard from Wayward Son. I love my beautiful bean. Okay, now to go over to YouTube. So 2019 was my first year on YouTube. Um, so I thought I would pull up a couple of uh, things to deal with, to do with it, and then include that on my next year wrap up. So uh, overall, I uploaded 16 videos from when I started my channel in October. I started on October 3rd. And uh, when I checked at the very end of um, the day on New Year's, I had 33 subscribers, which is three more than what I was hoping to get by the end of the year. I was hoping to get 30, so I'm very, very happy with that. My first video and my most popular video of the year were my booktube newbie video, which doesn't surprise me. However, the video I am proudest of is my Disney Princesses Choose My TBR. I spent so long editing it and I, it was an idea that I had from the very, very beginning of the thought of me maybe having a channel, so I'm really, really happy with it and I'm super duper proud. Overall, uh, 2019 was a pretty good reading year for me um, and I'm really happy that, with the fact that I decided to join booktube. Um, I really enjoyed myself. I have a feeling when I look back on 2019 I'm gonna be really really happy with uh, the choices that I made both reading wise and joining booktube wise. But now that that's done, let's go ahead and get into my 2020 goals. So first thing, uh, for the past two years, I have made a goal of reading 52 books in the year. Um, that way I could, I knew that if, as long as I read one book a week, I would be able to get it done. Um, both times I have passed that goal and both times for some reason I just didn't read in January and I still passed that goal. So this time now that I'm um, kind of like more held accountable for my reading because I'm on booktube I've decided to increase my reading. So I set it at 60. It feels like a nice good place to leave it. Along with that, I would like to do four readathons this year. I'm actually already uh, doing one of the readathons right now. I'm currently in the book quest readathon uh, where I'm on the side of the knights and I'm really excited about it, but I'd like to do three other throughout the year, kind of, especially because I did fail the only readathon I did last year. Now for some of my goals for my own personal channel. For subs, my goal is to hit 69. Nice. Yes, I know I'm a child for that, but it makes me laugh every time, so that's the goal for the year. I feel fairly confident that I can get uh, that. That's a little bit more than the amount that I got for this year in a couple months, so hopefully... I'll be able to do that spread out over the year. Uh, and my other goal is to upload at least eight videos a month. That's two videos per week and kind of like keep to a regular book upload schedule. Whereas before it would be like every couple of days I'd upload a video or like I'd wait for two weeks because I didn't have anything pre-filmed and I do live uh, with children every other week whenever my roommate gets uh, custody of hers and so it was kind of like all over the place so this year I'm setting forward that I want to do at least two videos a week and I want to um, be able to have plenty pre-filmed and ready to go to do that. That's not saying I'm only going to be uploading two videos per week, but that's the goal as a minimum. And that is the really quick um, and easy kind of 2019 
wrap up 2020 goals video as always i hope that you guys had a great time with me today um there's a link down below to register to vote it's very important that you register to vote it's coming up come on guys and then i hope that you guys have a great rest of your day bye